All right, we're gonna get the show on the road. In the first step, you're gonna to put together the weight box, which I, we'll look at that in a minute. In the second step, you're gonna work on the trucks. And one of the things is this comes with Tai Chi wheel sets, these plastic guys. I like these and I'm keeping them. And I use these on lots of other, other uh, freight cars, along with their, I like their S2 trucks, roller bearing trucks. But they've got this notorious piece of flash right there. See it? Many frustrating ways to remove that. I'm gonna show you the easy way. So I've already done three of them in part of this one. And the first thing I do is I mount it in this extra Tai Chi truck. And then I take this, I take this brush, plastic brush. I have my tool set on kind of low. And I go around. First I'm gonna polish a tread. Now I'm gonna do the center because I sprayed it with graphite. I don't want this thing to turn into a conductive resistor and have a meltdown. I flip it over, do the other one. Okay, now check out the nice shiny treads and there's a little ring, but they still got that flash, right? You see it? Here's how I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna take them and set them down like this. Yeah, let's, let's make sure you can see close enough. Getting right towards the edge here. All right, now. A little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna hold them like this. And go on the back side. I'm gonna do the back side of the wheel. Okay, get them down there. It's getting closer. Still flash. So now I'm just gonna hold them in place where that flash is. Let's turn them around and get them. Check the other side. And then where the flash is, whatever's left, you're gonna hold the wheel steady. And that's it. Did we get a match? Let's find out. Did we get a match? That is good, because the one we were worried about is where it touched the edge of, of the wheel. And in the camera here, we can see that one's got just a tiny bit right there. Let's hit him. Check his opposite. Just a teeny bit on the end. Let me just take my little file and let's just take him off. All right. Now, that little nub that was flashed, that was a problem, is gone safely. And once you get the hang of it, it only took me like a minute to do all of them. So that, the wheels are now ready. And if I want to detail them further, I can do that now. All right, so let me just quickly show you. Here's step one, weight package, which I did. And I use goop on this. I'm going to get rid of this flash later. We'll see if the goop works. Um, because you're supposed to pour this bag of BBs in here. And we'll see. Maybe I want to go ahead and change my mind and do lead strips. So that's why I've got it gooped. Because this one, it'll stay when I want it to stay. It will open if I need it to open. Without damaging anything. We'll think about that for later. Now we're on step number two. He's putting trucks together like this. Now, 
when you're taking these out of the package, you're going to come up with a one sprue that is this color. It's got these little tiny things here. Those are the wheel hubs, and I'll show you right here. They go in just like that. That's how they go in. And I'll tell you what, it can be super frustrating, but I'm going to show you a quick and dirty, super easy way of doing this. And that is, we're going to take this, we're going to take this, and then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut off using a 17 blade. I'm going to cut off. I don't know, there's another set of two. I think that might be in case you lose some. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to use a 17 blade. I'm going to get them off without any flash. And there I've got the two right there. Okay, now I'm going to show you the easy way to do this. All right, so i got these guys over here. Let's zoom in. You probably can't even see them. I can barely see them. Let's bring them over here onto the green. Let's do them over here on the green. Right. Now you might be able to see him. That was not the best place to put that. We gotta clean this guy up. Let's go over here. Let's get better on the green. Let's get up here in some good area where there's green. Okay. Now there they are. Here is my quick and dirty easy way. I've removed a side frame from the sprue. And instead of trying to put that guy, drop that guy in there with tweezers or anything, I'm gonna take him like this and I'm going to do it like that and I'm going to get in here and I'm going to press them hopefully hopefully ah we got him there he is uh -huh. we got him by pressing down this has now worked a number of times we press him down and he's in Okay, then we got to put on these very tricky parts, but but here is a truck that was already done. Now, what we're going to do next, we're going to do one thing. <clears throat> in this truck, you should see, uh, see if we can get you to focus. All right, there's a part, right? There, that guy's got to go on here. He's a separate part. All right, and he's hard to get on here. I'll tell you right now. So we're gonna come over. I'm gonna bring my baking soda, my baking soda paper, and I'm gonna go ahead now, and I'm gonna cut off. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove from the sprue using my 17 blade I'm gonna remove from the sprue these guys okay there they are now notice they've got a tab on the end that's not connected to the sprue that is not flash don't cut that off all right get that guy out of the way and I'm gonna show you how to do one and then y'all let you figure out how to do the rest According to the instructions, very carefully, it tells you here that the little arrow point slides straight on, and there are two little nubs. Hang on. So the part that's connected to the sprue is basically the arrowhead. You see that little ridge on there? That's the outside. On the back side, you'll see two little nubs very carefully you'll see two little little nub there okay that's the inside that's the part that gets glued we are going to use super glue to do this so i'm going to take one and i'm going to take him off the sprue with my 17 blade i'm going to pin him you're going to need good glasses to do this i'm going to pin him with my 17 blade and i'm going to go ahead and uh, remove him right there there he is and he should be, basically, well, 
let's see if we can carefully pick him up and examine him. Look in the camera to examine him. See that that uh, ridge? That's the top side. Okay. So I'm going to lay him down here. I'm going to try to get the top side to be facing up. And I may have to use tweezers to get him to the right to be on. Okay, there he is. Now, once upon a time, a very wise man said, get some good tweezers to learn how to use them. So I'm going to take my super glue. And on this piece of paper towel with this baking soda in the middle, we're going to put some drop over here on a spot that I've dropped before, just like that. All right, now that's going to stay good in working time for a very long time. Now I'm going to take a regular blade here, and I'm going to touch him to the glue spot just a tiny bit, and then i got to get him onto this part right there. Let me put the glue on, I'll show you. Here he is with the glue on. You see that? Tiny bit. Now, the arrowhead points towards the middle. Let's find our good tweezers. All right. And we're going to see if we can take this guy with his top up and put him right down there. And then with our fingers carefully, carefully, very carefully, very, very carefully, There he is. And, amazingly enough, there's not enough glue excess for us to get dinged on the part where they say, look for glue, excess glue. We're good on that one. And that's how you do that. And then when you've got those done, and you got all them guys in, and you've already seen the wheels, you've got this truck. Now we can put our wheels in, and that it's actually, this, when you get to here, you've completed step two. Oh, okay. Step one, done. This is step two. It does not say put in wheels yet, which is good because we're gonna have to figure out how we want to paint these. And that's it, that's where we're at. I think we have passed step two. And we're gonna go on to the rest. So far, so good.